Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joseph Tran and I'm a commercial editorial portrait photographer located in the Washington DC area. On today's video, we're gonna talk about how to pick the right camera in 2021. So I bought my first full frame camera in 2014. It was the Canon 6D. And before that, I was using a crop sensor camera body. Three things that I noticed immediately by moving up to full frame, I had much better image quality, a wider field of view using the same lenses and an increase in the depth of field. After the Canon 6D, I upgraded to the 5D Mark III and I'm currently using the 5D Mark IVs in the studio. I also shoot with a Sony a7R III depending on the situation. This gives you an idea of the cameras I currently own and use professionally. I wanted to share some guidance that could potentially save you money and get the right camera for your needs, whether you're just starting out or already working as a professional. If you're starting from scratch and are interested in fashion photography but don't want to spend more than $1,000 on a camera body and lens, I would go with something like a Sony A6000 series body. You should be able to find a used Sony A63 or A6400 online and still have enough money for a decent prime lens. I would get the camera body alone with no kit lens and take the rest of that money and invest in the Sigma 30mm or 56mm E-mount lenses. The 30mm lens will give you a full frame equivalent of 45mm which is kind of the perfect focal length for a lot of different types of work. The 56 will be closer to an 85, and that's gonna be a lot tighter. If you can only pick one, go with a 30 millimeter lens. It's more versatile for outdoor and indoor shooting. For the price, these are some of the best lenses you can get, and the fact that you can mount them on a full frame Sony body and shoot in crop mode gives them an upgrade path down the road. This is why I'm only recommending the Sony A6000 series cameras. I've had the Sony a6500 and the Sigma lenses for a few years now, and I still shoot with them. It's also my backup camera to the Sony a7R III. For those of you who already own crop sensor cameras and want to make the upgrade to full frame, there are plenty of good options currently out in the market. For much of the studio work I do, I'm fine using 30 megapixel sensor on the 5Ds, but there are certain scenarios that require more detail and resolution. If I'm shooting product photography, such as jewelry or beauty photography for cosmetics, I might need the extra detail and resolution. That's the reason I have a Sony a7R III with its 42 megapixel sensor. Sometimes you need the ability to crop in and still retain as much detail as possible. High megapixel camera bodies that are currently out in the market are the Sony a7R IV, the Canon R5, and the Nikon Z7 Mark II. These are the top three cameras I would recommend if you're looking for a full frame camera in 2021. Just remember to take into account the price of storage media and backup solutions because you'll be using more space with these cameras. If these cameras are out of your budget, I would look at their lower pixel siblings. You can look at the Canon R6, the Nikon Z6 Mark II, and Sony should have a new A7 IV coming out this year. The next step up from full frame would be medium format. The move from crop sensor camera to full frame made a huge impact on my photography. With medium format, we see a similar improvement moving up from full frame. We have better image quality, a potential wider field of view, and an increase in the depth of field once again. So when borrowlenses.com reached out to me, this is not a sponsored video, to see if I'd be interested in trying out their rental service, I knew I wanted to shoot medium format. I just didn't know which camera. After doing some research and watching YouTube reviews, I settled on renting the Fuji GFX100 with the 63 and 110 millimeter lenses. This mirrorless camera has a 102 megapixel sensor, image stabilization, and a modern autofocus system with eye tracking. The 63 millimeter and 110 millimeter lenses are comparable to a 50 and 87 millimeter lens in full frame. I was able to use the Fuji GFX100 for a studio portrait session, an actor's headshot session, and an outdoor portfolio shoot. This is not a review of the camera itself, but more of an opportunity for me to see where the camera would excel in the types of scenarios I photograph. If you are a high-end commercial photographer, you might already own or be considering a medium format camera system. I know a lot of the high-end fashion work and magazine cover shots are done with Hasselblad and medium format cameras. From my time using the Fuji GFX100, I will say that the image quality is insane. The color and detail is on a completely different level. 
I don't have extensive experience with medium format cameras to make a recommendation. However, I will have a user review with the Fuji GFX100 coming out soon, so make sure to subscribe to stay notified when a new video comes out. Medium format cameras are very expensive and I would only own or rent one if my job regularly demanded this level of quality. The cost of entering any professional camera ecosystem is usually in the thousands of dollars, so it might be worth your while to rent a camera you're interested in and a few lenses before committing to that system. All of the pro level cameras these days will get the job done, so I would be more focused on ease of use, how intuitive the control layout is, and the lens packages to cover the range of uses you might be working in. Having the option to rent and try out a camera and lenses to see if it suits your shooting style can end up saving you thousands of dollars down the road, so a rental service like borrowlenses.com can come in clutch when you're testing out new gear or just need like a particular lens for a higher job. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. If you haven't, go make yourself a coffee. Let me know what camera system you have or are looking to purchase in 2021 in the comment section below. Until then, stay safe and have fun shooting.